So Plumbella has created a build challenge that has been called the most devilish build challenge. James called it the cursed build challenge. The reason why is because it's created using a random build generator, but the catch is that there's always gonna be something really bad about it. So it's definitely a challenge. I'll link the build generator Plumbella has created in the description down below, but it's on a website called Perchance. And basically how it works is you can randomize it to get a whole heap of different outcomes. There's gonna be a building style of the house, color theme, how many floors and rooms, a budget, and you have to use the budget exactly. You have to try and use every last cent, which is a challenge in itself how many sims it has to house and the disadvantage. Might be that you cannot use bb.move objects. Let's see what we get. I'm nervous. So the building style of your house is Tudor, which is not my favorite at all. The only color we can use is brown. That's so sad. It will have one floor, five rooms. That's okay. And your budget is only 36,299 smolens exactly. The three Sims. Three Sims? Oh no, your disadvantage for this build is that you must feature My First Pet Stuff predominantly. I don't even know if My First Pet Stuff even has brown swatches. My eyebrows have smudged. Well, Plumbella is right in saying that this is a terrible build challenge. <laughs> well, for a Tudor style home, I guess it would make sense for us to build in Windenburg. I mean, with the budget that we have, the house isn't gonna be very big, so we can build on a pretty small lot. We're gonna move the land grabs in. So let's just bulldoze this. I'm so sorry. They're like enjoying a beautiful moment, staring into each other's eyes lovingly. And we're gonna bulldoze everything. You know, they've just decided to move to a more quaint place. They're over living in the mansion. Or maybe they lost all of their money. Tea time. Well, we are allowed move objects on, so that's exciting. And I need to put in the exact amount of 36,299 simoleons. So this is what a Tudor home looks like, in case anyone's wondering. Oh my gosh, this is definitely not my building style. I like modern homes, clean lines. <sighs> okay, one floor, five rooms. Well, often there's like a special front door area. We can go out like this. I don't want to make it too big because we don't have that much money to spend. Maybe something like that. It's actually really hard working with a very specific budget because you don't want to spend too little. You obviously don't want to go over. Okay, so this is a general shape. Be like a little roof here and a bigger roof here. I'll do another little roof at the back. When in doubt, mirror the front at the back. And then I'm going to put another roof over here that goes this way. Okay. And remember, we want to use brown. Is there a Tudor style in here? <laughs> no, there's not. I mean, it probably falls into one of those, but I don't know which one. If we filter by get together, that's a good, that's a good way to go. Oh, they have like dungeon doors, don't they? Also, I'm sorry if you live in a Tudor style home. I'm sure it's beautiful. It's just not for me. Like I'd probably really love visiting one. So maybe we'll keep these straight. That's brown. We had a brown roof, the brownest wallpaper. A lot of them actually have brick. We have a brownie brick. Okay, what do we think of this? We have this little moment over the doorway. That's nice. And some little boxes. Wait, I totally forgot we actually have a budget to stick to. <laughs> but surely we can afford just a couple of flowers. Actually, this is a part of Tudor style that I do like, the flowers. You know, now I think about it, getting the color brown isn't actually as bad as it sounds. At least it's a neutral, like it's not like we have to make everything pink. Although that would be really fun to just build a Barbie house again. But sometimes all the same color can be tricky. Okay, that's cute. That's nice. Even put this like dorm up here. It'd be nice to have a couple of trees. So I'm just gonna do these at the beginning. But if we're really struggling with budget, we can always delete them. Just need a couple of things out here, okay? Oh, and we need a mailbox too. Okay, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, the inside. Can only have five rooms, two bedrooms. Let's get our saucy sauces in here, my favorite light of all time. And look at all of these beautiful browns we can use. See, that's not so bad. Would we say this is brown? I mean, it is in the brown category. Maybe this is more brown. Okay, that that is definitely brown. 
This can be a little entrance area. This kind of looks like it wants to be a bathroom back here. Oh my gosh, I just remembered the My First Pet stuff. This is gonna look so bad. There is no way to actually make this look nice. The building style of our house is Tudor, but maybe the interior could be more modern. I'd have one bedroom, two bedroom, one, two, three, four, five. Open plan living lounge area, that works. So far, so good, you guys. Absolutely killing it. I think a kitchen could go here and then maybe the lounge can kind of sit here. Dining over here or dining here, kitchen here, lounge over here. We need brown kitchen counters because everything's brown. Maybe this one because it kind of looks like the kitchen's had a nice renovation. Oh my gosh, the brown fridge, so sad. Our budget is, is quite little. I think it, I was feeling more confident with our budget until we started with the kitchen. We'll just do a wicker bin here. Nice brown stove. That's definitely brown. I mean, it's kind of goldy brown. I mean, what were the land grabs thinking moving into this brown house? Maybe this is like a house they've moved into, but they're yet to renovate it. Although I think they had a lot of brown. I can't remember the interior of their house. Maybe they do like a lot of brown. I think we need a half wall here just to kind of keep the fridge inside. Do you have any nice brown wallpapers? Oh, wow. Well, that will do. <laughs> I think the dining's going to have to go over here. Now, we do have to use a lot of my first pet stuff as much as we can. I don't even think James has this installed in his game. That's how much he dislikes this pack. Okay, let's see. Are there brown swatches in here? There's surprisingly a lot more brown than I had thought there was. Oh, look, we got this beautiful brown rug. Brown curtains. Okay, we got a nice brown couch. Could do like a situation. Do like this kind of a thing, a corner couch here. That's nice. Whenever my voice is high pitched, when I'm saying like, that's nice, it's like I'm not very confident at all. Oh, yuck. This is so bad. Oh, Lord, not that. This is okay, right? With this gorgeous brown lamp. This is so painful. Like, I don't want to sound too dramatic, but it actually kind of makes me feel sick, like I want to throw up. Unless I imagine it's chocolate, in which case I can get around that. We don't have any dining options here. Uh, we can use these cat chairs. I guess they've turned into cat people. Malcolm's gonna have like a kid's room basically, I think, even though they're teenager. It's okay. Have a nice cat thing over here. Malcolm can have that beautiful desk. Oh, it's painful. Okay, there are no dining tables. I mean, I guess we better use this on the wall. Any brown swatches? Brown swatch. I mean, the only beds are cat beds, cat and dog beds. So, I mean, we could use these as their beds, but obviously the Sims can't actually use them. So I feel like we're allowed to use a different bed. Just so it's actually playable. Ah, oh, this pains me so much, you guys. <laughs> the nicest brown bed, it has to be brown. Is it possible to get like a pastel theme or a neutral theme? Something that isn't just solely one color? Oh, that's so bad. Malcolm will have a single bed. I don't know if there's a bed that's like fully brown in single bedding that I can see. Oh wait, no, sadly there is. <laughs> it's a beautiful brown bed. Get some gorgeous brown plaid wallpaper, that's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. The whole video is just me saying how bad this is. And we have to use the My First Pet lights as well. I mean, at least we have blinds that fit the windows quite nicely. So that's actually a real win. Look, Malcolm, you can measure your height up to your waist. There's no brown swatch here, but I feel like that'll be allowed. This was really a big feature of the My First Pet pack. Having all of these fun chubby things. There's actually nothing more frustrating to me than trying to figure out how all of these piece together. Oh wait, these are like horizontal, the other ones are vertical. Oh okay, I've learned something today. How are you meant to touch these? Do they just float? How cool is that? And yeah, I know it's not brown, but it is using the My First Pet stuff. So it's allowed, we'll allow it, so cool. Now the great thing about this pack is if you have cats and dogs, you can use all of these pet items that you will need cats and dogs. So hopefully Malcolm has cats and dogs to use it. That's really nice, that's a great kid's bedroom, very uplifting. It's a real feel good creative space. 
What would you guys like in your bedroom? Perhaps a cat scratching stand. That's very nice. I have a couch at the end of the bed. Are there any nice brown plants we can put in here? See, this is brown. The plants just got a bit of green. Please let me put some greenery in. The filtering says it's okay. I don't think we can fit much of a dining table in here. Might actually have to do a teeny tiny one. Or they could just use bench stools here. Nice three-seater dining table. Perfect. A nice feature wall there. Okay, I'm gonna put a full wall here just because it looks really weird with the wallpaper. A lovely rug here. Oh, that color looks so nasty amongst all the other browns. Brownie beige. And surely we're allowed to put a TV in, right? Oh yeah, we can put this one in. Oh, a stained glass window is cool. Just look at this gorgeous space. So nice. Very beautiful. <laughs> Nancy's like, why am I here? I know this rug is from Cats and Dogs, but it's close enough. A couple of bookshelves here, lovely. Who doesn't want to be welcomed by this, this friendly chair at the front door? That's nice. And now we've got almost $9,000 left for the bathroom. Budget-wise, we've done a pretty good job. We haven't had to adjust much. You know what? Maybe we can even make the bathroom look kind of nice. There's a lot of brown bathrooms around. Brown was like really trendy for bathrooms and kitchens, like around 2007, 2006. Everyone was going for the, like the browns. A nice brown toilet. Good Lord. Do we have to tour this at the end of the video? Can we just never look at this? <laughs> I don't want to see it. Okay, we still have 7,000 simoleons. We could do some really nice landscaping. Ooh, or have a little extension. Push this out. Oh, that's a little more spacious now. We could have a nice outdoor patio area. Oh, look at that, nice big barbecue. Couple of brown chairs, what more do you need? That's great. We could easily spend the rest of this money just outside, giving this place some nice trees and foliage. Cause God knows it needs it. I know why, but I feel like shaped hedges just go with the Tudor style. Is that just me? Or at least the land grab style. Ooh, we can afford some more of these boxes too. Flower boxes. Flower boxes is such a nice thing. I wish our house had flower boxes. It just wouldn't really go with it though. Not something you see very often in Australia, I feel. Do any of you guys have flower boxes at your house? You'd actually have to put in a fair bit of effort watering everything. You know what? From the outside of this house, it actually looks really pretty nice. If you have no idea about what the interior looks like, it's quite nice. Like a fairy tale cottage. Okay, we are nearing the end of our budget now. Landscaping, I tell ya, it, it takes up a lot of budget. Okay, this by itself is 210 simoleons, which I think is gonna almost push us over the line. We could put 14 dry pine trees. It looks like we're gonna have to use, <laughs> oh, we could make like a little Christmas tree area. Oh, is all the shading weird? I think it's okay. And there we go with our little Christmas tree farm. That's what the land grabs have decided to invest in, Christmas tree farm. Um, that is our completed house. Isn't that just to die for? Actually, this, this is cute from the outside. I like it. We've done really well. Let's go for a tour. All right, so just to refresh our brains, this had to be 36,299 simoleons, which we did achieve. It can only have one floor, check, and five rooms. Had to be only brown, Tudor, for three sims. We've done it, folks. Let's go inside. We've got our nice little front area here, and look at that, so warm and cozy. <laughs> and neutral. It looks really nice. It's actually like floor plan wise, not so bad. You got your kitchen, your bin, your lounge area. A little terrace out here was a very nice addition with our extra budget. The entrance room enabled us to add an extra room to the room count. We've got our bathroom in here. Oh, that toilet. Oh, the toilet's so bad. All the welcome wagons here. They'll be excited to see our son, our teenage son's bedroom. It's very coherent. <laughs> Malcolm just loves cats and dogs. What can I say? All ready to get a cat or a dog. If he has my first pet stuff. I mean, if he has cats and dogs, not my first pet stuff. And then over here, this is our wonderful main bedroom with the puppy lights. 
the matching brown curtains, brown bed, uh, cat stand. Love that. No wardrobes are needed in here. They can live out of their suitcases. Um, and yeah, that's it. Welcome everyone. <laughs> oh yes, fruitcake. I love fruitcake. Welcome everyone. Come in, come in friends. Welcome to our very brown house. Well, let me know what you guys thought of this. I'm like about to thank Plumbella for the challenge, but I'm also like, this challenge was horrible. <laughs> but no, thank you Plumbella for the challenge. If you guys would like to check it out, I will link it in the description down below as well as Plumbella's video. Thank you so much to my members. Really appreciate you guys at the moment. While I haven't been able to make all of my regular videos, it is a massive help. If you'd like to support the channel, becoming a member is a sure way to help out. You can do that by joining on a desktop. There's a join button on my main channel or underneath the video. And I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Dada! <laughs>